So Valentine's Day is approaching and all of my friends are asking me for the same advice. So I thought I'd make a video just to share what I tell all my friends to do when they want to have a gift, a wine gift for Valentine's Day. So the go-to type of wine, the go-to place is really champagne. So I've brought one example here, uh, Lenoblo Champagne may not be that well known because you know the champagne market is crowded with the really big brands like Moet Hennessy, uh, Veuve Clicquot, Dom Perignon, and the whole LVMH group really monopolizes this space. But we do have family growers still making um, really good champagne. And the good thing is there's the movement toward these grower champagnes, small farmers who decided to make their own. That's a trend, um, but a lot of them tend not to be that inexpensive. Whereas when you have a kind of medium-sized champagne house like Lenovo, um, Anne uh, and her brother who run this estate, uh, they're doing a fabulous job. The price is not expensive. It's under 50 US dollars. And I think as a champagne gift, especially for Valentine's Day, what else puts you in the mood except uh, really good bubbles? So I would recommend this one for something that is under uh, $50. And for a champagne that you might want to splurge on because it's a very special day or a very special person, I would recommend this croak. <laughs> I think people who know me know this is one of my favorite producers of all time. Um, partly because uh, with Singapore Airlines, we've been serving Krug for a few decades. We've had a really long relationship. Uh, I've been following the progression of this champagne, especially since um, Maggie Enriquez uh, has been the CEO and doing really amazing job making the Grand Cuvée uh, a prestige level champagne. So it's on the same level, both in, pri in terms of price as well as uh, quality as a vintage champagne from any other house or producer. So if you want to splurge, Krug is uh, another champagne that I would recommend. And lastly, I'm thinking about um, a gift that you might want to give someone just to show them that you are utterly important. You are my Valentine and you are so special to me, and there's only one of you. And that I would do with a bottle of sweet wine. As sweet as you are to me, this is really the king of Sauternes, the king of sweet wines from Bordeaux, a blend of Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc, but made with what we call botrytis grapes. So it means that the, the berries have shriveled and uh, they're infected with a kind of mold. It's called noble rot because it's a, it's a desirable, good mold. And the grape itself does not look so pretty, it becomes like a dark gray, but inside is uh, concentrated flavors and juice, which are squeezed at harvest. And, um, you know, quite a big percentage of this botrytized uh, grapes goes into making sweet wines from um, Sauternes. And of course, Ikan sits at the very top of that um, classification. Everyone knows if you want the best Sauternes, I mean, this is it. It was ranked in 1855 um, as the premier, the top of the, the best sweet wines of Bordeaux. And I would say by reputation and also by quality, it's, it, it deserves it and it remains there. So you have three choices. Uh, a kind of uh, special champagne to say, hey, let me show you how special you are to me. Please be my Valentine. This one to say, you are an amazing person and I want you to have a very special champagne experience. Let's enjoy this together. And this, especially if you want to make a special proposal or make a special declaration to your loved one. I would say that um, having a bottle of Ecan is the most magical experience and it would really make your Valentine, I think, absolutely thrilled. So three perfect gifts for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. If you like this video, then comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are interested in seeing more videos, please send me your comments about what you'd like to see next. See you next time.